metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. this silly spring cleaning stuff again. I keep telling them no need to scrub the hull. The ship cleans itself. But no. Nope. Forget the ship. The worst part is that you know it's only a matter of time until they're tidying all our cabins up. Oh, after their last tidy up, I couldn't find the notes for any of my experiments. And my vintage checker set. Still smells like that awful air freshener. Lavender and lemon lime. We have to do something about it. This unwanted cleanliness invasion of our personal living space. If we hang these warnings on our doors, then they'll be too scared to come in. That won't even slow them down a bit. We'll just end up with a couple of disinfected warning signs that smell like lavender and lemon lime. Oh. We have to find a huh? way that's a bit more refined. <laughs> Ah! This can be our artifact of vital archaeological importance, yeah? <laughs> but uh, it's just a rock. Yeah, but not for long. Ha! Now it's a vital artifact. But you just drew on it with marker. And that's what we want Olga and Rosa to think. And what do you think that they'll do when they find it? What will our spring cleaners do? Huh? Yes, indeed. They'll wash it. Oh, you are diabolical, and you're a genius. What a wonderful reason to forbid them both from cleaning our stuff. Clear out. The time for spring cleaning has come. So vacate the premises, unless that is, you feel lucky, punk. We're clearing out. Just be careful, please. I have a number of valuable artifacts. Valuable artifacts? Looks like junk to me. Whatever. Just please, <laughs> pull. No! Of course. We'll leave you to your work, then. Best of luck with cleaning everything! to say for yourselves? Um, you're welcome? Look, we don't have time to play 20 questions about a rock. We're very busy. Well, I'm very sorry to disturb you, seeing how busy you are, but this is a very valuable artifact. Or it was, till your cleaning ruined it. It used to be decorated with an ancient one-of-a-kind charcoal painting. <laughs> Look at what your obsession with cleaning has done to this poor chap. So, a disaster like this begs some action. From here on, the cleaning of our private cabins is absolutely prohibited. So there. Uh, uh. There, there, old friend. You'll learn to smile again someday. Oh, if you say so. <laughs> oh, yeah? So cleaning is prohibited now? Well, the uh, fact is, 
Uh, this is not the same rock. It's, uh, another one. Yeah. We hid the valuable rock in a really safe place. That's the rock. We cleaned it. Right. And now I'm gonna unclean it. Find a way to distract the history nerds here. Uh, what kind of painting was on the other rock? Remind me. A, um, a charcoal drawing. I'll be right back. With your precious little artifact. B wait, hang on. Just how old was this artifact? I've always loved paintings on rocks. It comes from the, uh, Brabacious era. How okay. do you know for certain that it's really that old? Couldn't somebody have scribbled on it like yesterday? <laughs> of course not. Don't be silly. Uh, carbon dating allows us to figure out how old these things are. With it, we're able to determine when something is from with remarkable accuracy. It's taking Olga a long time to fetch a rock. I'm just gonna go and uh, check on it. Oh, wait! We aren't done here! I'm awfully interested in this carbon mating stuff. Tell me how it works. Well, all right, I can give you the details. Every living thing is made partially of carbon. Plants grab carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and through photosynthesis, use carbon dioxide and water to produce oxygen, among other things. The leftover carbon remains in the plant. While we use oxygen to breathe, we can use carbon atoms to help us measure the age of an ancient artifact. There are two types of carbon atoms. One is stable, the other is unstable and radioactive. Radioactive carbon is much rarer than stable carbon. Per one atom of radiocarbon, there are billions of atoms of stable carbon. When a plant dies, it stops processing carbon. And over time, the radioactive carbon atoms decay while the stable carbon atoms remain constant. So every 5,730 years, the number of radioactive carbon atoms drops by half. So if we find an ancient wooden bowl, we can compare the ratio of the two different types of carbon atoms in it to find out how old the bowl actually is. But how can we learn how old the bowl is if all that radioactive carbon disappears. <laughs> no need to worry about that. There's enough life in the radioactive carbon for something like 60,000 years. <laughs> Which feels like how long Olga's been gone. Where is this place of safekeeping? Uh, a safety deposit uh, box at the First National uh, Bank of uh, Where's the Don Rock? All right, Rocky. Let's get your history back. Let's make you valuable again. Now, where can I find some charcoal? <sighs> I will never forget your brave sacrifice. <laughs> You can't leave yet! I still have so many questions! I'm dying to understand Carmen! I'm starting to think you want to distract us. Yeah! If your cleaning did mess up that artifact, just come on and have the guts to admit that! Here's your huh? scribble rock or whatever. Completely safe and sound. See, there's no need to worry at all. Hey, how'd you pull that off? It's in the technique. <laughs> That's great, but will it fool him? Of course it will. It looks exactly like it was. Well, friend, we're both aware that this is a forgery. And a forgery of a forgery at that. Yes, but we haven't any proof. Well, weren't you just talking about the process of radioactive carbon dating? Mm-hmm. The computer will measure radioactivity and determine how old the drawing is. We're gonna get busted. Hold on there. You said that this method was used to determine the age of plants, but you're using it on a rock. Oh, don't fret about that, carbon curious little friend. Our ancient ancestors used naturally occurring materials for everything. Plants were used as tools, as well as for food. Even the coal used for drawing was made of burnt plant matter. Ancient artists discovered they could draw with a stick that had been burned at one end. And thousands of years later, we can measure the concentration of radiocarbon in the drawing and determine how old it is. And now, we'll all find out the exact age of our rock painting here. Oh, fine. I can't take it anymore. It was me. Yes, I made the dumb drawing. What? How can this 
be? Well, we scrubbed away the original drawing, not on purpose. We were just cleaning, you know? Well, I hope this means that now you both will respect our wishes and not clean our cabins ever, ever. Not even just, uh, um, sweeping up now and then? Sweeping leads to dusting. And from there, it is a slippery slope to the destruction of priceless artifacts. I'm not sure science can afford what your cleaning obsession might cost it. We say nay for science. It won't happen again. Well, I should hope not, you cleaning menace. Goodness forbid you destroy a real historical treasure next time. Uh, oh. I mean... What do you mean by real historical treasure? You set all this up to keep us from cleaning your foul cabins? Well, all right. Yeah, we did that. But it was to teach you a valuable lesson. You sneaky, slimy little tricksters. You don't like it when we clean up your messy rooms? Don't you punks? You cost me my favorite rolling pin. Let's keep things civil. We're adults. <laughs> it was just a little joke. Well, we're just going to joke in return. <sighs> With our fists. Carbon dating thingy complete. Determined age is 38,000 years. <gasps> but how? It huh? just must be a mistake, right? That is highly unlikely. The carbon dating method is actually highly reliable. You drew it with a rolling pin. Yeah, with my plain old rolling pin. <laughs> you know, I don't even recall where it came from. That is phenomenal! It's surely a prehistoric rolling pin from Neanderthal times. What an historic discovery! A direct link to the culinary practices of our remote ancestors. Where is it, Olga? Uh, uh, I kind of, uh, threw it away. <laughs> what? Well, I had to cover my tracks about the rock thing. Radiocarbon dating was invented by the American scientist Willard Frank Libby. This discovery helped to verify the dates of many important archaeological findings. In 1960, Libby was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his research. Thank <laughs> you.